Hello, this is Barry, Kilowatt United 3X-Ray. Today I'm going to talk about return loss in 4 to 1 Ganella current balance. I'm going to run a return loss calculation using the Rig Expert AA600 and I'm going to sweep from 160 meters to 2 meters. The ballon of choice is made by High Power Antenna Company. It's a 250 watt 4 to 1 current Ganella ballon and the model number is the GU4-HF-250-M, M for micro. They call it their micro balance, very small. Uh, it's, it's actually use, backpackers use it. They like small balance. And you see the little white tag on the end on the, on the top? That's a 200 ohm non-inductive resistor. So instead of trying to read this screen which is going to be hard to do what I did was I hooked it up to the computer so I'm going to come back in a second and uh, I'm going to run the scan and uh, we'll see what we come up with uh, give me a break be right back okay I'm back let's run the scan as you see on the screen 1800 uh, kilohertz 144 megahertz sampling points is 500 so we'll click OK in the bottom left hand corner of the screen you'll see the data transfer it takes a little while to make the scan and we're up over 35 percent right now so it just takes about 30 seconds we're halfway through and we'll have a screen that tells us return loss and SWR so we're going to set it for return loss when we get to the screen this is real time so you know it wasn't set up ahead of time this is an actual scan. There's that stuff. I want to go to return loss because that's what I'm talking about. So here's return loss. And return loss will start out at 160 meters. There is 1.8 megahertz. The return loss, return loss is 29.79 dB. So 29.79 dB is 99.9% efficient. Not bad at all. Now let's go down a little bit. Let's go down to somewhere close to 20 meters. Uh, there's 24, 15. There's 12. It'll touch you with the mouse. There's 14.373. The return loss is 31.36. So 31.36 is about 99.9%. Still that. You, it's, you're, you're trying to really fine tune it. and You can't break it down that much. But let's go down here. Uh, let's go to 10 meters. There's 29.87. Return loss is 27.36. And 27.36 comes out to 99.8% efficient. Now we're going to go up to 6 meters. There's 54.432 megahertz. Return loss is 22.97. And that comes out to... 99.5% efficient. That means for 100 watts into the ballon, you're getting 99.5 watts out. And this ballon is designed to operate uh, 10 to 100, I'm sorry, 160 meters to 6 meters. Core material comes into play. Uh, so that's where it's really designed. Once you get above 6 meters, as much as the efficiency is there, the choking reactance of the material is starting to drop off dramatically. Uh, so your impedance transformation is still there. If you have a 200 ohm antenna at 2 meters and you're running it in a 50 ohm system, your impedance transformation is still there. So that's, that holds up. What happens is you have less choking reactance uh, up that high and and that's not really all that good but the ballon will function there as a as an impedance transformer so here we go up to 144 megahertz there's 140 there's 145.36 return loss is 16.25 so that comes out to 97.7 percent efficient so 97.7 watts is going out over 100. We'll go right up to the top. There's 148, and that's 16.9 uh, dB return loss, and that's 97.9. So 97.9 watts is going out, and uh, the remainder is being absorbed by the efficiency of the ballon. That's a pretty good ballon. I haven't found any on the market yet that'll compete with that. 
Uh, as far as SWR goes, we'll take a quick look for view. Here's SWR. Uh, as you see the insertion here on uh, 2 meters, 1.37 to 1 SWR, and down the bottom of the band it's 1.06. SWR and return loss are very similar. SWR is to a tape measure what a micrometer is to accuracy. Return loss is like a micrometer. SWR is like a tape measure. You're still getting readings. It lets you know what's going on. But that's the difference between SWR and measuring return loss. Now don't mix up return loss with insertion loss. If you would have 20 dB of insertion loss, that would be terrible. You have 20 dB of return loss, that is excellent. That's 99% efficient. I hope this uh, explained the efficiency of balance and how return loss works. 73 from KU3X. Did it da da da.